In this video, I'm going to explain how to uh, fix the problem with some MacBook Airs. Uh, I'm not sure why I had this problem, but uh, the problem was that I couldn't get into the recovery menu on this MacBook Air to reset it to factory settings to wipe the hard drive or format it, whatever you want to say. I couldn't format it because it was the boot drive and because holding uh, Command R, I think it was, wouldn't get me to the recovery screen. And maybe I did get to the recovery screen, I just couldn't see it because uh, this screen is half cracked. I bought this computer broken. It's a 11 inch MacBook Air. I have it hooked up to an external display back here. So I couldn't, I couldn't format the hard drive. Um, or restore it to factory, whatever you want to say. So what I had to do was I had to get use my, uh, you need a working Mac to do this too. I used a, my working MacBook Pro to install a version of Mavericks onto a USB stick. So, so this USB stick acted as a hard drive and you actually booted to this and this had the operating system on it. <clears throat> so what what I did there was I you can just download Mavericks for free off the App Store and then when you uh, install it don't select the uh, computer's hard drive select the USB stick connected to the computer install it to there it takes a while because USB is slow and once it's all installed, you go through all the setup process on the working computer. Once that all is all done, it goes to the normal uh, Mac startup screen, like the desktop. You turn off the computer, remove the USB key, put it into the computer that's giving you problems, put it in there, hold Option when the uh, computer starts up, and instead of selecting the internal hard drive, which is the solid state attached to the motherboard here, uh, select the USB key <coughs> with the Mavericks install on it. Or OS X install, doesn't have to be ma specifically Mavericks. And then once you're in there, you have, you boot to that, it's really slow. But just give it time, uh, go to disk utility and then format the hard drive, the internal hard drive, the solid state in the MacBook Air or whatever you're doing. Format it. Now takes a bit, not too long, maybe five minutes at most. Then that hard drive is clear. Uh, turn off the computer and then make a bootable uh, OS X uh, install. Uh, USB key or you can attach an external CD or DVD drive and ex install it from a disk or whatever I just find this is easier and then as you see up here I am installing Mavericks and the computer will uh, as soon as it's finishing it'll, finish, it'll boot up fine like it's brand new except for the cracked screen or whatever and yeah, that's how you get by or how you fix that problem if you're having problems with the uh, recovery partition not booting up correctly or I'm not totally sure how to explain that, how it works because I haven't had to use it before. <clears throat> so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope I helped you.